beautiful line. That is incredible. Mission accomplished for John Rahm. Dima Seve, quite simply awesome from Rambo. Well, 25 under par, his winning score last year. How's it going today, Mark? Well, slow start. Where did you catch fire? Yeah, that was Massive crowds out there following him. First bird of the day then, Boxy came at 14 for John Rahm, the par five. Next hole. Second shot to the 15th. It's not a long par four, this one. Beautifully controlled, bit of spin. That'll get near the hole. And that would lead to a birdie three, Richard. Have you ever had one of those? Well, I think, well, why don't we wait and see if he actually does make it? OK. He does. Oh, of course. Didn't Never in doubt, was it? was coming, you see. So a couple under par, but he did drop a shot at 18, out in 34, on he came to the par 5 four. Yeah, back round onto the front nine, which is obviously his back nine, and uh, I mean, just look Someone at the support tagged. for their hero. Back to the first, see whether Justin Rose can start with a par. Kept his head nice and still, and got the line, good start. 174 for Olsen, ball below his feet out of the rough, expect this one to release. Oh, it did. It did, yeah, good call there. Look at that, beautiful. Long green that second. Don't don't compliment Jay too early. No, I know, week. I know what you mean. It's any, it's any downhill from now, isn't it? Yeah. Tournaments are starting to run out now, so a big few weeks coming up. Yeah, nicely rolled in. So Ollison makes his birdie at the second, moves nicely into the red. First hole. Up the hill for Mathieu Pavon. That looks pretty good. Better than that. In you go. It was almost like a, a dog leg par three, this, wasn't it? You know what I mean? The olive trees growing up, and you can't quite see the left side of the green. No, te creo. Oh dear. Doesn't like it. Oh, go on. There's a ridge there, but he's not going to quite get there. Oh, he's missed the ridge. There you go. Just catches that down slope. Excellent target. I mean, you saw the pace he went over that ridge, Richard, there. And I mean, he's happy with that look. It was well read, it was well judged, it was well visualised. But the tee shot one yard, just one yard left, would have tumbled down there. very yeah. close to that. It's it, it's a good score, right? I mean, you, you can't win it on the first day, uh, but I put myself in a good position. I just, I feel like I drove it so good, I wish I would have taken advantage of a couple other opportunities, right? I put myself in, in the right spots often enough, and even in a couple holes, I struggled to make a birdie on par fives after a great tee shot. So, mm -hmm. um, but besides that, it was really good, you know? Um, organized round of golf, played really good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, hopefully I can keep hitting it to the green like that and, and uh, just make a few parts over the rest of the week. Mm. It's always special playing on home soil and, you know, based off the opportunity of surpassing Seve's record. Um, what's it like managing your expectations? It, you know, do you almost flip it around and feel as though you've got all to play for? Well, the only thing is it's, it's not the biggest golf course, right? And, and, and it's a... It's a massive honor to have as big a gallery as we have. So it's just dealing with that, right? Obviously, everybody here watching, I'll say most of them watching, want me to do good. And it's, it's managing that energy around me, right? Um, so obviously, I want to do good. But if you start adding the, that, uh, that energy of wanting to hit a good shot, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to start trying too hard, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I still need to play golf like I do any other week. But the beauty of something like this is, you know, maybe when I'm not hitting my best shots, just just using that crowd in my advantage, right? Uh, that moment on 18 and one, where you know made a bogey, great, made a great par on one. You know, using that crowd energy to turn it around and mm. and play good golf was key, and you know I was glad I could, I was, I was glad I was able to do that on that back nine. Mm. Now this is for a bogey for Justin Rose, just to drop the one on the second. Not sniff the fairway in the first two holes. No, two over through two. He's going to go back and start again. Pretty ragged stuff, has to be said, from Justin Rose. At the sixth hole. 
Birdie attempt here for Joost Lauten. Left hand below right. That's not bad. Oh, it works. That will be used in the monthly medal. Everyone will be left below right now. Needs another one in position right now to grab one of those PGA Tour cards, Joost Lauten. Stay on line. Oh, he has. Look at that. Five on the spin. He's beautiful. Got it over the ridge that Jay was talking about, and down it comes. Nicely played. Second shot's uphill at the eighth hole. We drive uphill off the tee, actually, as well. Second shot, you can see just half of the flag. It's well back, that'll have spin. Nicely played, good shot back. Yes, very well done. Very nearly second bounce in the hole, wasn't it? And look at the spin taking it to that distance that he's already missed a couple of so far today. Now uh, Campillo from the front of this par 3 11th here, second shot, didn't it? A particularly good tee shot here. Called it a bit heavy. Downhill right to left to the hole. Oh. Oh! How'd you get up the 11th? Number two. They like that, don't they? Reasonable lie here on an upslope. Just has to land it on the lower level, run it up right to left. Well, oh, the chip ins are <laughs> coming fast now. Torbjorn Olison with a real bonus there. After a wonderful second shot from the left rough, Pablo's at the high point of this green, just has to get it going downhill. It's going to have to aim left of the hole to start with. Oh, he did. Is it coming back the other way? Oh, yes, it I'm is. Right. What an eagle. Oh, well read, Jay Townsend. Well read, Pablo Lara Fabal. And what an eagle. I don't think I ever remember seeing the rough this thick just off the fairways. Oh, that is so well done. What a recovery that is. <laughs> yeah, bit of swing on this from left to right. Yeah, well done. Not as much as I thought, I have to say. Well done, though, for Loughton. So coming back the other way, obviously, you're going to get some left to right in this. See where he's aiming. It's a good two and a half, three cups outside the left. Right about there. Lovely. He is sneaking along under the radar. Five under now, just a shot behind. Well, what a second shot into 14, the par five. Pavon. Oh, he just smashes it in there. And all of a sudden, Pavon, who has played very well here in the past, came very close, finished second a couple of years ago. And, well, he is in a tie for the lead now. Oh. Ready just off the back of an eagle at 14, nearly another eagle there. Ready to go here in the hole in one hole. BMW i5 all electric. I mean, talk about a car. That would be awesome. Maybe they give one for the player and the commentator calling the shot. What do you think? Should do. Well, we're all going to speak then, aren't we? Get a prize, isn't it? Bit. When you hole in one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Tournament leader, 187 to the pin. Oh, that's a nice little bounce. Nearly a nice little car. 
Left to right, down the green, let's hope he knocks it in. He deserves it. He's got pace in it. Oh, he's just like every single putt today. It just slides by. Now, on third shot. Oh, he must have played it nicely. In! Well, when you're having a day like he's having a day, things like that happen. Medium for a 62. What a fantastic performance it's been for Matthew Pavel. Scoring this year with that 63. He may have company at the top of the leaderboard soon because Will Bestling's on a charge with those five birdies in six holes. He's another who's played well here before, led at the halfway stage back in 2019. 65s from Lorenzo Vera and Pepperell. Ross Fisher with that run of four birdies in a row has moved to six under par. And there is John Rahm himself. He may be four shots back, but he'll still very much be the tournament favourite after that first round of 67. He's won three of the last four. Rahm is only four back. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.